Hello, it's Tuesday, and guess what? You probably already know. It is December. December 1st. It's the last month of 2020. So, wow, I cannot believe it. So, it's the 12th month today. So, it's Tuesday, December 1st, and this is our phonics lesson today. So, yesterday we talked about our sounds for the week our new sounds that we're learning. So what do these two sound? Oops, let's drop that. What do both of those say? Ch, 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 right. And then WH says wah, wah. And PH says fff. I'm going to add something to that. Wah, really quick. Because the WH really kind of says, wah, wah. it's kind of like you blow air in your cheeks when you say it, wah, wah, and then blow them out. Wah. And then PH says, fff, fff, fff. okay. So today for your phonics lesson, you're going to need letter cards, the cards that you, I'm um, letter, the piece of paper with the little letters so you can build words. If you have those still, you're going to need those. If not, you'll just have to use like a dry erase board or you could use the back of one of these, okay? And then you're going to need your papers, which yes, they're all, there's three of them only because they're cut and glue, so I couldn't put those back to back. And then there's just this one that, so really you could use the back of that for your building words if you don't have your letters. That would work just perfectly fine, okay? Okay. So before we start with our letters, um, I'll pause there for a second so you could so you could um, pause me if you needed to. Okay, so before we do that, let's talk about sounds again. Because first, we I like to start with the phonemic part of our phonics. Okay, so. Today, instead of chopping words like we did yesterday, I'm going to give you a word part like in, and then we're going to add a beginning sound to it. So if the word was at, let's say at. The word is at. Say at. Okay, now let's add ch to the beginning of it. So we say ch, at, chat. Okay, get it? All right, so how about we start with this one, ill. Say ill. Now add ch to the beginning. What word do you make? Chill. Yes, chill. Okay, now say ant. Now add ch to the beginning. Ch, ant, chant. Eat. Now add w to the beginning. W, eat. Wheat. Good. Okay, am and add w to the beginning. Wham, good. And in, now add ch to the beginning. Chin. And last one, own, add f to the beginning. F own, phone, and that's that P-H, f phone. Okay. So for our word building, let's get our letter cards, get them out and spread out. You might pause me, that way we can keep moving here. So pause me if you need to and get them all spread out. Oops. It never lets me make them skinny anymore, I don't know why. There we go. All right, so the first word I would like to build is we're gonna do a ch one but it's not gonna be tch and it's at the end of the word so let's build we're gonna pull down our l u n and then ch Okay, 
pause me if you need to. Okay, so we have this word. So now let's touch under the letters and say the sounds. O, un, and then this is one sound, right? Ch. So let's touch in between them. O, un, ch, lunch, lunch. Okay, trade your L for a B. And then touch and blend. B unch bunch. Okay, let's see. I thought of another one, but it, we'd need two R's. Oh, okay, change bunch to munch. Munch. Hey, Emery, shout out to you. What would I change my B to? M. M. Yes. M munch. Munch? Okay, now let's get rid of the M U N. So push your M U N away. And let's do a couple ch words that start with ch. Okay, so you have your ch, 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 ch. Okay, and let's put at at the end. So build at over here. Whoop, lost my pen. At. Okay, so now let's blend it. Ch, at, chat. Good. Change it to chap, chap, chap. Sophia, what would we change it to? Shout out to you, girl. Yes, we would change a T to a P. P. Chap, chap. Um. Let's change it to, we're gonna have to change two letters. Let's, oh no, we'll change one letter. Okay, let's change it to chip, ch, i, that's not right, ch, i. Right, change the A to an I, chip. All right, let's change that C to a W now. Whip. Sometimes you have to whip the eggs. Another baking term. You'd think I was a baker, but I'm not. Okay, whip and, ooh. Let's do whisk, because we talked about that one yesterday, and that's why I talked about baking then, too. Wha, wha, i, and we have to change this to a sk, sk. Ooh. We know s, then k, k, could be two things, right? It's k, whisk, whisk. Okay, that's probably good for, well, let's take away this isk. Let's put an O there. Shout out for our word wall word. Who? Right, that says who? Wait a minute, can it say who? Didn't we say WH says what, what? Yeah, this one doesn't follow the rule. That's why he's a word wall, isn't he? Cause he doesn't say what. Woo, it says who. That's why that's a word wall. All right, take away that O. Oh, let's do. A M. Is 
We did this one with our phoneme segmentation this morning. Or earlier. Am. Wham. Okay. All right, that is all we're going to do with our letter cards today. So if you're going to pick them up now, pause me and pick them up. If you're going to wait till we're done, you won't need to pause me. Okay. So now I would like to look at this. This is in your reading little reading book, but you don't have to get out your little reading book. You can just look on here because you may have done this already with Miss Durham. I'm not sure if she did the whole page with you with the story. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this side in our sentences. Okay, this part goes with your story. So that's the story that you were reading which way on the map yesterday. Hopefully you're rereading it today. Okay, so let me turn it up here. So here are our sounds. Ch, ch, wh, f. C-H. T C H W H P H. The letters C H and T C H make the sound you hear in chop and catch. The letters W H make the sound you hear in when. The letters P H make the sound you hear in fill. Okay, so now she's going to read these. Read them with her if you can. You see that good? Okay, ready? Inch. Whiz. Chat. Itch. When. Grass. Lunch. Check. Stitch. Witch. Sketch. Much. Okay, and then we're going to practice these sentences. Phil will sketch a graph for math. When will he get his lunch? Okay, so PH, we have to think of that as f Phil will sketch a graph for math. When will he get his lunch? One more time. Phil will sketch a graph for math. When will he get his lunch? Okay, now make sure that you did reread your story. If you didn't, that's something you need to do today. Read your story. Okay, now let's look at what we're doing paper-wise for phonics today. Okay, I know you know the directions because these you can look at them and figure it out. So we have the WH, so you have to read the word and match the picture. Okay, they're kind of, there's some harder ones in there, so you're going to have to try to try different sounds. Like when you have the WH and then the A, but then it has a magic E, so the A is going to say A. Wuh, ale, wuh, ale, whale. You might need a little help from someone, but first try it on your own, okay? Same with PH. So remember, PH says f. So find the words that match the picture. This is a dolphin. There's a graph. Phone. Photo. Trophy. I know you know elephant. Eh, eh, elephant. Eh, it's going to start with an E, right? Okay, so cut and glue those. Again, if you don't have glue, you can tape them. If you don't have that, you can um, draw lines if you need to. I'm going to get some glue sticks, I think, sent home for you guys at home. All right, so last one. So here we have a little chick, ch ch chick. So all you do on this page is write C-H if the picture begins like chick. So if it starts with a ch, you're going to write C, 
H. If it doesn't, you leave it blank. Okay, so like, how about chair? Would we write ch, ch? Yes. Okay, and I want your ch to look like this. Make sure your c is short and your h is tall with the tail. Ch, ch. And no more. We don't want letters floating in the air. Okay, we don't want H's that look like N's. Make sure you're trying really hard and doing your best handwriting on your CH. Okay. Send pictures to your teacher. If you want to color any of the pictures, you can. You don't have to. But if it's some of these look like fun to color, yes, you most definitely can. Okay. All right, boys and girls, that's it for our phonics today. And this is B group, so I will see you guys, hopefully, tomorrow on Wednesday. And e-learners, I'll see you in Zoom. All right, goodbye.